It's February 27th, 2015. Hello, I'm Elizabeth Ashby, and here's what you need to know about what's happening at the University of Texas at El Paso. A new report shows that UTEP contributes $1.4 billion to the local economy annually. The total impact is comprised of UTEP's payroll and operations spending, along with the spending of its students, visitors, and alumni in the 2013 fiscal year. The report, which was released by Economic Modeling Specialists International, says that the $1.4 billion impact is equal to approximately 5.4% of El Paso County's total gross regional product and is equivalent to creating about 26,500 new jobs in the community. Mosquito experts gathered at UTEP this week to discuss and strengthen U.S. border plans for the surveillance and control of chikungunya, an emerging mosquito-borne virus from the Eastern Hemisphere that could affect the U.S.-Mexico border. The meeting was called to prepare for the likely spread of chikungunya, which first appeared in the Caribbean last year and is expected to move north to the southern United States. The public was invited to listen as scientists presented their areas of specialty and worked together to plan for the possibility of a widespread epidemic. The meeting was supported by UTEP's Border Biomedical Research Center and a grant from the National Institute of Minority Health and Health Disparities. A representative from India will discuss his country's growing economy at UTEP's first centennial lecture of the spring semester. The Honorable Parvathaneni Harish, the Consul General of India in Houston, will deliver a lecture titled The Indian Economy, Opportunities for Business and Industry. Harish says that he hopes to build business and academic partnerships between India and the American region that his consulate serves. The free public lecture begins at 5 p.m. on March 2nd in the Undergraduate Learning Center, Room 126. For more on these and other stories, visit utepnews.com. I'm Elizabeth Ashby, and we'll see you next Friday. Go Miners!